Okay, here we are in Maine at the Dempsey Challenge and very appropriately named for this gentleman right here. Hi there, I'm Patrick Dempsey. Hi Patrick Dempsey, how are Welcome. you? Welcome, good, very good. Welcome to Lewiston and Auburn. You can see over here the falls, which is sort of really well. I'll show people the falls. The, uh, very good. The strength of the city. Uh, you can see the old architecture too. It was a lot of uh, mills that were originally here around the turn of the century. They have since gone to manufacturing in the the real industry now is certainly the hospital and we're trying to find jobs in this community. Um, and uh, it's nice to have the Dempsey Center for Cancer, Hope and Healing here. Well, I love the name, Cancer, Hope and Healing. Yes. And, and I love the, the whole idea. Our message that we always try to give with the marathon is, let's choose love over fear in this situation. Yeah, and that's I, really what your message is too. I think certainly when you have love, you're, it's, it's an opening thing. And when you have fear, you're closing up. And it's really important to to keep your heart open and certainly at the center that's the big key that we tell everyone and I think the success of the center is because of our volunteers. They're, a lot of them are survivors so they understand exactly what's going on as soon as you come through the door and I think the people coming through the door are just relieved that they have someone who is there who are just simply listening to what their needs are and then we go and try to you know meet those needs and that's a beautiful thing. Well, it's making a big difference in the wellness center and I think it's part of the treatment, overall treatment of a person who's diagnosed with cancer. What I love too is the whole idea of treating the patient as a human being and not just treating the disease and that's a big deal to me I know as a patient it was to me to have somebody who just treated me like me um, with not only their attention but their touch and their caring as opposed to just feeling like a number well that's the thing that happens I think is that because the, the doctors are under so much pressure and there's so much volume tragically that they, they cannot spend the time and cannot commit emotionally sometimes and as a patient I noticed with my mother you feel like you're kind of being ripped off that you're not getting the information the love and understanding that you need not all doctors but sometimes just because of their schedule they they can't do it therefore the nurses become so much more important in your care because they're there on the front line almost every day all day long and then after that you need a patient advocacy program you need someone in there who's looking out for you saying hey what you know you're a human being you have a name and a heart and I'm gonna help you through this and I'm gonna cry with you I'm gonna laugh with you and I'm gonna hold your hand and we're gonna get through this door and you talk you have things like massage and yeah I think that's the big thing that we've noticed in the center is the massage a lot of people haven't done it in the realty all of that stuff makes a big difference because it gets back to when you're a child and you're being touched and hugged you know we're human beings and we need to be held and loved and and uh, that's so important. You need to feel that emotion and that physicality, and that's part of the healing process. Well, congratulations on this. It's great fun, too. Oh, it's a Might blast. as well have fun while we're doing good yeah, stuff, right? Yeah, this is right? really a celebration of life, and it's really about, you know, remembering the people that we've lost, you know, really rooting for the people who are in the fight right now, and then the survivors, too. I think that's a lot for them to deal with, as having survived, and they see friends that they have lost, and it's sometimes very difficult for them to accept the fact that they're still alive and I think by volunteering and giving back there's a healing process on both ends and that's really something that's really quite beautiful and you can feel the emotion and the energy that is so much greater than any one individual it's this collective thing that happens it's really quite magical and probably the most fulfilling experience of my life awesome thank you thank you